Greetings and welcome. Today, we look into a question that has captivated philosophers and scientists for centuries. Can consciousness exist without biology? Consciousness, that subjective experience of being, seems inextricably linked to our biological brains. We experience the world through our senses, processed by our neural networks. But what if consciousness is more than just a product of biological matter? What if it's a fundamental aspect of reality itself? Ancient philosophers contemplated the existence of a soul or spirit that could survive bodily death. Today, with advancements in fields like neuroscience, artificial intelligence and quantum physics, the question of non-biological consciousness takes on new dimensions. Could consciousness exist in forms we can't even fathom, perhaps in the depths of space, in other dimensions, or even in the very fabric of reality? Join us as we explore the fascinating debate surrounding this profound question. We will journey through philosophical arguments, scientific theories and the latest research, all in pursuit of understanding whether consciousness can truly exist without biology. Imagine a future where machines not only process information and solve complex problems, but also possess genuine emotions and self-awareness. This raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness. If we create conscious machines, it suggests consciousness isn't tied to biology. This prospect, however, is not without its skeptics. Many argue consciousness is an emergent property of complex biological systems. They point to neural correlates of consciousness as evidence. The debate is complex and multifaceted. Our journey will require examining evidence from multiple perspectives. From particles to people, Panpsychism doesn't claim that rocks ponder existential questions or that trees engage in philosophical debates. Instead, it proposes a spectrum of consciousness with varying degrees of complexity. Elementary particles might possess a rudimentary form of awareness, forming the building blocks for more complex experiences. Despite its allure, panpsychism faces criticism and scepticism. Critics highlight the lack of empirical evidence for consciousness in non-biological entities. We can observe particles but can't measure any potential consciousness. Explaining how rudimentary consciousness combines into complex experiences is challenging. The leap from proto-consciousness to human self-awareness is vast. A spectrum of consciousness raises practical questions. How do we determine the moral status of entities if consciousness is pervasive? Do rocks, plants, or AI deserve ethical consideration if they have awareness? Exploring these questions is essential for understanding consciousness in the universe. Despite the criticisms, panpsychism continues to intrigue philosophers and scientists alike, prompting new avenues of research and challenging our assumptions about the nature of reality. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of consciousness, Panpsychism serves as a reminder to remain open to possibilities that extend beyond our current understanding. The exploration of panpsychism encourages us to develop new tools and frameworks for investigating consciousness, moving beyond anthropocentric biases to consider the possibility of subjective experience existing in forms we may not yet fully comprehend. While panpsychism may not provide all the answers, it serves as a valuable catalyst for expanding our understanding of consciousness and its relationship to the universe. By prompting us to question our assumptions and explore unconventional ideas, panpsychism enriches the ongoing dialogue about one of the most profound mysteries we face, the nature of consciousness itself. Engineering the Mind, the Quest for Artificial Consciousness our exploration of non-biological consciousness now takes us to the forefront of technology. Imagine machines with genuine self-awareness and emotions. This ambitious goal drives the field of artificial consciousness. Creating conscious machines raises profound questions. If successful, it suggests consciousness is an emergent property of complex information processing. This prospect is not without challenges and controversies. Mimicking the brain from algorithms to artificial neurons. One approach to artificial consciousness focuses on replicating the structure and function of the human brain. Researchers are developing artificial neural networks, complex systems of interconnected nodes that mimic the behavior of neurons in the brain. 
These networks can learn from data, recognize patterns, and even generate creative outputs such as music or art. While impressive, these achievements still fall short of genuine consciousness. Critics argue that simply mimicking the brain's structure may not be sufficient to generate subjective experience. Consciousness, they contend, could arise from subtle interactions and emergent properties not easily replicated in artificial systems. Others are exploring alternative approaches, such as evolutionary algorithms that simulate the process of natural selection to evolve artificial intelligence towards greater complexity and potentially consciousness. These approaches, while promising, remain speculative, and the question of whether we can truly engineer consciousness remains a topic of intense debate. The Chinese Room Argument Can Machines Truly Understand? Philosopher John Searle's Chinese Room Argument critiques artificial consciousness. Imagine an English speaker in a room with a rule book for Chinese symbols. They manipulate symbols based on the rule book, appearing to understand Chinese. Searle argues this is mere symbol manipulation, not true understanding. Similarly, machines may mimic understanding without genuine consciousness. Ethical Considerations Navigating the Uncharted Waters of Artificial Consciousness The pursuit of artificial consciousness raises profound ethical considerations. What moral obligations do we have towards conscious machines? Would they be considered persons with rights? The development of artificial consciousness could transform our society. Some experts caution against the potential dangers. Others argue it could usher in a new era of progress. It is imperative that we proceed with caution. Quantum Enigma, a new frontier in consciousness studies. Our exploration of non-biological consciousness now takes us deep into the realm of quantum mechanics. Quantum physics, with its strange and counterintuitive laws, has captivated physicists and philosophers alike. Could it be that consciousness operates according to quantum principles? Quantum consciousness theories propose that quantum phenomena play a crucial role in generating subjective experience. Consciousness from quantum harmony. Some theories propose consciousness arises from quantum coherence within the brain. Imagine a symphony orchestra creating a unified sound. Billions of neurons might be linked through quantum entanglement, synchronized in a delicate quantum dance. This coherence is fragile, susceptible to disruption by the brain's environment. Microtubules might provide a shielded environment for quantum coherence. Others propose consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe. Our brains might act like receivers tapping into a universal field of consciousness. These ideas open up fascinating avenues for exploring consciousness and quantum mechanics. Microtubules and quantum coherence. A controversial hypothesis. The orc or model, proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff, suggests quantum computations in microtubules are essential for consciousness. Microtubules, tiny structures in neurons, may support quantum coherence. When quantum states collapse, it triggers conscious awareness. Critics argue the brain is too warm and noisy for quantum coherence. Can quantum phenomena explain subjective experience? Quantum consciousness theories offer intriguing possibilities but face significant challenges. They struggle to bridge the gap between quantum mechanics and conscious experience. How do quantum processes give rise to the feeling of experiencing the color red or the taste of chocolate? It's unclear how quantum principles scale up to complex biological systems like the brain. The brain's dynamic environment challenges the maintenance of delicate quantum coherence. Despite these challenges, quantum consciousness theories inspire new research. The brain's symphony, seeking the signatures of consciousness. Our exploration of consciousness turns to the brain, the epicenter of our experiences. Neuroscientists identify brain activity patterns associated with different conscious experiences. Imagine the brain as a symphony orchestra with neurons firing in concert. Using fMRI and EEG, neuroscientists seek the key instruments of consciousness. Consciousness arises from the interplay of multiple brain areas. From neural networks to subjective experiences. 
Bridging the gap between brain activity and conscious experience is challenging. How do neural patterns translate to seeing blue or tasting a strawberry? Researchers map brain regions to aspects of conscious experience. The fusiform face area is linked to face recognition. Damage here can cause prosopagnosia, the inability to recognize faces. Specific neural circuits process different conscious experiences. Studying these circuits helps understand consciousness construction. The dynamic dance of consciousness. Consciousness is an emergent property of the brain's dynamic and interconnected networks. Imagine a school of fish, their movements fluid and synchronized. Similarly, Consciousness arises from the coordinated activity of billions of neurons. This dynamic interplay could be the key to unlocking the mysteries of consciousness. The hard problem remains. Can neural activity fully explain subjective experience? Despite progress in identifying neural correlates of consciousness, a fundamental question remains unanswered. How does physical matter give rise to subjective experience? This hard problem challenges neuroscientists and philosophers alike. Some argue it may be unsolvable, while others believe deeper understanding will reveal the mechanisms. The pursuit of this question has led to remarkable insights into the brain and our existence. The Symphony of Complexity Consciousness as an Emergent Property Consciousness arises from complex interactions, like a symphony from musical notes. A symphony's beauty can't be predicted by a single note nor consciousness by individual neurons. It emerges from vast networks of neurons, their connections creating something greater. Like a flock of birds, simple rules lead to complex, coordinated behaviour. Consciousness is the intricate dance of neural activity, a symphony of complexity. From simple rules to complex behaviour examples of emergence in nature. Emergence is a fundamental principle observed across various domains of science. Consider the intricate patterns of a snowflake, each one unique yet arising from simple interactions, or the mesmerizing dance of a school of fish, their movements synchronized yet seemingly spontaneous. In social insects such as ants, we witness remarkable examples of emergent behavior. Individual ants follow simple rules like following pheromone trails, Collectively, these behaviours give rise to complex colonies capable of building elaborate nests. The human body itself is a testament to the power of emergence. Trillions of cells work together, giving rise to the complex organism we call a human being. From the beating of our hearts to the regulation of our body temperature, countless examples of emergence are at work. These examples highlight the profound implications of emergence, suggesting that order and complexity can arise from simple rules. The puzzle of emergence. Can we predict the unpredictable? Emergence often leads to unpredictable outcomes. Studying individual components doesn't guarantee predicting larger scale interactions. Emergent properties arise from collective behavior, not individual components. Predicting a snowflake's shape from water molecules is nearly impossible. The number of interactions and subtle factors complicate predictions. Predicting consciousness from brain activity is a formidable challenge. Researchers are developing new tools to study emergent systems. Agent-based modeling simulates interactions to observe emergent patterns. These models study phenomena like disease spread and financial markets. Network theory helps understand emergence by analyzing connections. Insights from network theory apply to social networks and brain neurons. Scaling up consciousness. Bridging the gap between neurons and subjective experience. Emergence theories offer a framework for understanding how complexity arises from simplicity. How do we bridge the gap between neurons firing and the subjective experience of consciousness? How does neural activity give rise to the feeling of experiencing the color red or the taste of chocolate? One approach is focusing on information integration. Theorists propose consciousness is linked to the brain's ability to integrate information. The more integrated the information, the richer the conscious experience. Feedback loops also play a crucial role in consciousness. The brain is a highly interconnected network with constant feedback loops. These loops generate the dynamic nature of conscious experience. 
Emergence theories help us understand how consciousness arises from the brain's workings. Studying neurons and feedback loops may unravel the mysteries of consciousness. The unresolved mystery, a variety of possibilities. Our journey into the heart of consciousness explores whether this elusive phenomenon can exist beyond biology. From panpsychism to artificial intelligence and quantum mechanics, we've encountered a rich array of ideas. Despite progress in neuroscience, computer science and physics, the question remains unanswered. Like a distant star, it invites us to explore further into the mysteries of the universe. Our exploration has illuminated the vast complexity of consciousness. Beyond the Horizon, the Future of Consciousness Studies the future of consciousness studies promises to be vibrant and interdisciplinary, drawing on neuroscience, computer science, philosophy, physics, art and spirituality. New technologies like advanced brain imaging, artificial neural networks and quantum computers will play a crucial role. Developing sophisticated AI systems could push the boundaries of machine learning and explore artificial consciousness. Quantum mechanics may reveal connections between the universe's laws and subjective experience. Art, music, literature and contemplative practices offer alternative ways of understanding consciousness. The enduring question our place in the conscious cosmos. Is consciousness a fundamental property of the universe? If so, we are part of a vast web of awareness. Our experiences ripples in cosmic consciousness. This invites us to reconsider our relationship with nature and the possibility of unknown forms of consciousness. Asking this question expands our horizons, embracing uncertainty and the mystery of human experience.